everybody, Dr. Heineman, Phil Horde, this is Sean Kennedy. Um, and today I'm going to present whitelisting versus blacklisting. Um, sorry, I'm not in a corporate office or in the school setting or in my home on my big TV, so sorry any mess you might see in the background. So, um, so what is whitelisting versus blacklisting? Let's take a quick look. So whitelisting is going to be a model that we use or methodology around a trust-centric, right? So we're going to um, block excess by default, but then we're going to have approved entities that we whitelist, right? And so uh, again, the whole uh, thought behind this is around having trust. So uh, in an email type environment, we're gonna have trusted senders, right? The, those people that we always do a lot of business with that might be external to us, but we trust explicitly. Networking, we have known good devices. So for me, um, I think about the servers and the workstations that my team utilizes on a daily basis. I'm gonna whitelist those to have access to wherever they need to go in the network so that I'm never blocked um, by those because I trust those machines because they're, they're within my control and my staff. And again, with applications, things that we use every day, right? They come from a trusted source and they might be installed by my staff, right? So again, Office, Slack, antivirus, things that are, that are in my approved um, applications list. So those are the things that are gonna be whitelisted, right? Um, moving into blacklisting, it, it, we kind of flip the script on this one, right? So instead of having a trust-centric model, we have a threat, uh, a threat centric model, right? So in an area where we by default are going to allow access, we're going to blacklist and we're going to block access to malicious uh, type of entities. So what are these? Again, going back to email, known spammers that are trying to constantly hit the network, right? Or constantly trying to send us phishing type emails. Um, and we can either block those in a, in a spam filter or at the administrative level for like my G Suite console, I can, draw, I can block entire domains. Uh, for networks, I'm going to also have non-trusted devices. I've talked in previous classes about where I had situations with my office up in Utah where someone was jumping on the network in the middle of the night. I was tending to block or blacklist those devices um, because I, I didn't want them having um, unabated access to my network. And finally, applications, anything again from a non-trusted source. So in the last class, we talked about shareware um, or apps that don't come from a, an app store type environment. Those are things that we're, we're going to treat as uh, malicious uh, right out the gate. So, you know, which one from a security perspective is better? Well, really the choice is yours. Um, Whitelisting is, of course, more secure, but it's more work because we're going to constantly have to maintain those lists uh, for access control. Blacklisting has less overhead, right, less work um, and less disruption to our daily, but it's also less secure, right? So um, the choice, again, is yours, um, but in a, in a perfect world, we're going to have a blend, right, of those types of things. So for an example, I'm going to go back to my Meraki appliance and take a look at some of my network settings. So here inside of, of a given device, we can't see it because the screen is pretty large, but we can see that the MAC address is right here. And um, right here on this list, I can choose whatever I want. So I can whitelist this. I can, that has no bandwidth limits and no splash screen if you're going to log on to the Wi-Fi or block, right? I'm going to blacklist it so that they can't get on there at all. And I can apply that by the group policy that, that's on here, which is also part of our, uh, our learnings this week, right? So um, a lot of different devices. This is obviously network centric, but that's a, hopefully a good example of where it's at. And my references. So those spy versus spy, white versus black. So uh, thanks for letting me present. Take care.